I was thinking about the Haredi buses, you know. Every, you know, few weeks or so, you hear about these events of these, you know, women trying to sit in the front of the bus, pull out a uh, whole Rosa Parks impression or something. I don't know how they would have heard of Rosa. Good woman, by the way. Uh, they sit in the front of the bus. Haredi guys get up, take them off the bus or on the bus or whatever, and they beat the heck out of them. Of course, it's kind of like the whole stone throwing on Shabbos at the cars of the early 90s. They set them aside before Shabbos so they can use them on Shabbos. So, too, laws of Nagia are negated. Nagia is negated because, look, she's sitting on the front of the bus. It's on Sneas. You know, next thing they're going to do is they're going to drive the bus. You can't drive the bus. You can't even drive the car. How are you going to drive the bus? So I was thinking, like, the Muncie buses, they never have events like this. They have a mechitza right down the middle. And, yeah, there's a little butt bumping as you walk by, and there's not enough room on the woman's side. The woman's, like, trying to wheeze her way in. She feels some guy's keys, like, scratching her bum. I don't know if that's so kosher, but, you know, there's never, like, a beatdown, so to speak. They don't, like, tear down the mechitza and everyone starts screaming at each other, you know? Not like that. In Israel, for some reason, it is. I don't know why, because in Israel, they're so much more extreme. You would think there'd be a freaking, you know, like a cinder block wall right down the middle. No matter what, the women are, like, on the other side, they, like, put them up, like, in a pen in the back. You know, like the, you know, like those buses with, like, the cage and everyone's chained to the ceiling. The women have these little, like, chains to the ceiling. When they want to get off, they, like, press a button, like, the stop requested. And they, like, let them go and they get out the back. They don't even get to go out the front. You know, but for some reason, the Muncie buses, Muncie trails I'm talking about, are much stricter than the Haredi buses in Israel. The Haredi buses in Israel, the only stringency they have is the women have to sit in the back, and the men get the rest of the bus. So, I was thinking, like, a great solution to this is, number one, to give tasers to undercover Vodatsnias agents that randomly go to different Mahajan buses. It'll be like the U.S. Marshals on the flights, you know? There's always, you're trying to see, like, the guy with the double chin. Is he the guy with the gun on the plane? Who's that little woman? You know, she's kind of cute looking. Yeah, but she looks like she's up to no good. You never know who it is. So, so too, it could, you'll just have these general dudes. They'll be wearing the vests and the, you know, untucked shirts and the tits is coming through the vest, you know, and, but they'll be tased. It'll be like... Don't tase me, Yanko. You know that guy, like, don't tase me, bro? Don't tase me, Yanko. That's how it'll be, you know? And, they'll, like, a woman will get up, and they don't even have to touch her anymore. They're just like... <laughs> she'll just, like, fall down. Yeah, you're trying to pull some of that civil disobedience, girl? We ain't got no Mahatma Gandhi on the bus. Yo, back of the bus. That's it. Easy. They can also have, like, an electric fence. You know, like, the cows, like... Maybe it'll take a couple times, maybe some preconditioning, maybe the women won't get it. Look, lady, it's not Sneas to sit in front of the bus. How many times do I gotta tell her? <laughs> they like get shocked, like, oh, I didn't realize. You know, it'll be like the mouse in the cage, you know? And then eventually they'll, you know, they'll pass it along, at, like the shit of clubs, like, so Shangle, uh, have you been on the Mahadran bus? Yeah, don't touch the fence. It hurts. Look at my hands. It's horrible. No, it's not from making challah, I tell you. I tried to, like, grab the fence. I needed my stop. The thing didn't work in the back. It's like, it's like the glass ceiling of buses. You know, they don't let the women have much leeway. You know, they can't really press the stop request. They have to get off wherever, you know, the masses get off. They don't want them walking alone. And maybe, you know, when they're walking alone, someone else will see them. And if not so sneeze, you know, they have to be in the crowd. You know, like, very strict. Very strict. You know, they could have a mechitza. I don't know why, you know, like I said, the center block thing before, they can't even have a curtain. I mean, they should have, or they should just have separate buses. This is what I don't understand. They're going to have a Mahadran bus. Why not just make it single sex? They have single sex yeshivas. They have single sex floors for certain companies. They have single sex dining rooms. They have, you know, in uh, Mexico, actually, they're doing single sex busing. I know a lot of people are freaking out about it. It's reverting back to the 1950s, the whole shorter ward, like shorter water fountain thing. You know, it's funny though. Like I was, I was thinking, like, yeah, maybe women should get the shorter water fountains. You know, and, and I'm not. I personally, I'm not a feminist by any means, but I'm not anti-woman. I'm just saying this is what you know certain sets do. You know, if they're trying to keep them separately, but a shorter water fountain. Look what happens with a shorter water fountain. I don't have cleavage, but if I did, you might get the picture. But if I did, it would be kind of scary, and it would be hairy be problematic.